This is the Real Life Alchemy Podcast with your host, Sarah Lingadish. Transformation, creativity, consciousness, and the future. Hi, my name is Sarah Lingadish, and I am your cosmic guide to Jupiter moving into the mutable air sign of Gemini from May 25th of 2024 until June 9th of 2025. Let me break it down for you. What do you need to know so that you can take advantage of this expansion, this abundance, and this incredible planet of luck moving into the fast-paced, curious, social, communicative, exciting sign of Gemini? Why don't you like and subscribe to this video so you get updated about future videos. Last time Jupiter was in Gemini was in 2012 until 2013. The dates are June 11th, 2012 until June 25th of 2013. So why don't you go back in time and think about that time period, what was happening in your life? Because we are now going into another cycle of Jupiter entering Gemini. Takes 12 years to return to a sign. It stays in each sign approximately one year. So over the next year, we are working with the energy of Jupiter and Gemini. So let's break down what that means. Jupiter is our biggest planet in the solar system and it represents expansion, growth, abundance, luck, fortune, it basically makes something bigger. Whatever it touches, it enhances. So it really is the planet of luck. It is a planet of optimism. Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius and also of Pisces. So it really has that energy of adventure, expansion. It is also associated with consciousness and the pursuit of truth. It is the planet of miracles and possibilities. We call Jupiter the great benefic because it gives us benefits. It gives us luck, expansion, wealth. It basically makes everything bigger, expansive. So what's really important to know about this transit is where is Gemini, your Gemini sign in your natal chart and also your third house which is ruled by Gemini. Do you have planets or points in that third house of Gemini? Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So Mercury is the planet of the mind, the intellect. So Mercury is all about thought, thinking, expansion, learning, curiosity. The sign of Gemini is very fast paced. It's mutable air energy. It's all about learning, exploring, curiosity, socializing, communicating. It is the third house because it's that house where we begin to communicate, where we begin to seek the truth through different perspectives. Gemini wants to know both sides of the coin and is open-minded enough to see flexibly all possibilities. Gemini does not like to close into one idea, it wants to remain fluid and allow itself to be open to the multitude of possibilities. It's also about traveling, short-term travel and communicating with people. It's about social media. It's about getting your message out. Gemini loves to communicate and talk. And so if you have strong Gemini in your chart, planets or points, or you have a lot of planets or points in your third house, that's also a strong Gemini signature. Look and see where is Gemini for you. That is the area of life that you will be getting a boost of expansion and luck and abundance this year. Gemini is my 10th house of career and public appearance. So I am preparing to expand my business and expand my reach and expand the way I show up in the world. And it's gonna be a challenge because it's really gonna force me to expand and step into the role of being more visible, of communicating more my truth, no matter what the response is to others. Gemini's go, go, go. It's not about thinking too much about 
what people think. It's just about doing it, exploring it, experiencing it, moving on. Low end of Gemini energy is overthinking and getting lost in the mind. It could get stunted in taking steps or actions. Also, Gemini can sometimes lie because it says yes to everybody. It's just, yeah, yeah, I want to do that. I want to do that. And it just wants to do everything. So it says yes to everything and then it changes its mind and it doesn't tell people because it doesn't want to deal with <laughs> the deeper areas of life. Gemini energy is kind of a light, childlike energy, so it doesn't necessarily like to get in there deep. So, some predictions of what may happen as Jupiter enters Gemini, there's gonna be expansion of like fast paced, like kind of uh, communication. Gemini can also, like I said, it could be. It could be superficial, so it's it doesn't go very deep. It's very surface level. And there could be some misleading information. So let's see what happens in terms of social media, like how less our attention span is a collective. We're, we're already noticing that. Now you're seeing on social media, you need a reel of like three seconds to keep someone's attention. Well, that's gonna expand. We're gonna have less and less and less attention. The lines are gonna get blurred potentially and we will probably have a lot of false information coming out worldwide. So let's see how that affects our social media particularly. This is definitely gonna affect our social media. By the way, Jupiter is not comfortable in Gemini because Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, the opposite of Gemini. Sagittarius is, it's on the same spectrum, so it's a balancing act, Sagittarius and Gemini. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and it's all about the pursuit of truth and knowledge and philosophy, but it's higher knowledge, it's longer, further travel, it's long-term vision. Jupiter is also about that long-term vision. So when we have those together, Gemini's, sorry, Jupiter is not that comfortable. It's in detriment because it's opposite where it should be at home, which means there could be some negative aspects of Jupiter in Gemini. We'll have yet to see what that means. Disclaimer. Everything I say is just what's coming through me. You take it or leave it. You get to decide what you believe. I am partly channeling, partly expressing what I have learned through my over 10 years of studying astrology deeply. And I study astrology from an evolutionary Western lens, which means I am really looking at why we are here on earth as a soul. My focus is primarily on the soul. Why have we chosen to be here at this time? So I'm always thinking of why are we here? What is the point? How are we evolving? So that's how I view astrology. So you take or leave what you desire, always. And that's really Gemini. It's really, I believe in this, I believe in that. You can believe in whatever you desire. Jupiter is also about education, higher education. So, you know, this is a great time for learning. This is a great time for groups, communities of learning together. There's all kind of possibility. So what we want to keep in mind is over this next year, let's pay attention to what is expanding in our lives. I think it's gonna be a very exciting year. I'm very excited because it's about my business and my public role. Um, and it's forcing me to step up, expand into the world. So really pay attention to what aspect of life this is hitting your personal chart. If you wanna go deeper into understanding your natal chart, you can send me a private message. I do personal readings. I'm also a consultant. I do some transformational work as well called Soul Alchemy, where if you have a particularly block or loop that's really getting in your way, I can help you work through that. 
get past it so that you can really step into your full power. Everything I do is all about consciousness, self-empowerment, expression, creativity, freedom, and abundance and wealth. This is a topic I will begin to speak more and more about because I have a pretty unique perspective on abundance, on money, on wealth, and I recently have realized that my perspective on wealth, money, and abundance is very healthy. And I wanna share the tips and the things that I have learned throughout my entire life on how to shift your mindset into holding that abundant frequency. So send me a private message if you wanna know more about working with me privately. I am literally in the process of ending of my total midlife crisis, okay? I've had a total ego death and I'm having to reevaluate everything about my life everything, literally everything. So I am in the process of building what it is I actually want to be doing in the world with all the skills, all the training, all the lessons, all the learning I have learned my entire life. So very soon, probably in the next three months, I will be sharing all the things that I will be offering with the world to support self-empowerment, self-development, self-love, and prospering in a human form, enjoying the sensuality of being human. We're here to enjoy. We are not here to suffer and we are here to feel successful, to feel satisfied, to feel peaceful, to feel excited and delighted, we're here for that. Those are all words, by the way, from human design. One very important thing I will mention about Jupiter. Jupiter is a very important planet in human design and in Gene Keys. I also do work with the Gene Keys in human design. In the Gene Keys, Jupiter is essential, a key, key planet to your personal understanding of abundance and prosperity. So knowing your Jupiter placement is fundamental. Tapping into your Jupiter placement in astrology, in Gene Keys, and in human design is fundamental in your ability to receive, to share your prosperity in the world. So, Another very important thing about Jupiter is you wanna know where your Jupiter is in your chart, what sign, what house, what are the aspects affecting it? Those all play a role in how that will be portrayed. Is it in retrograde? Is it direct? All of these things play an important part in how you give and receive prosperity and abundance. I'll be tapping more into that this year, Jupiter. You want to know all about your Jupiter. Give you an example. My Jupiter is in Leo. That means I am here to cha na cha. That's why you probably see me doing all kinds of that. Leo's all about heart. And it's all about creative self-expression. So it is fundamental for me to creatively be myself and share that with the world without needing to be validated from the outside. That has been a big challenge for me and I'm deep in that lesson. I can talk about that more soon, but I have Jupiter and Leo and it is squaring my Venus, my Mars and my Mercury in Taurus and Aries. So it's a big deal. I'm also in the process of having my Jupiter, two degrees of Leo, opposite Pluto at two degrees. So I'm literally transforming how I show up in my long-term vision, my abundance, my prosperity. So expect a lot more coming about Jupiter, about 
prosperity, abundance, how we give and receive. Because honestly, I truly, truly believe we are not here to struggle. We are not here to enslave ourselves to a job we do not love. We are here to do things that make us feel good. And through that, we share it with the world and we can receive what we need. I really believe the future of the world is moving towards people stepping into their genius, into who they are. Who are you? What do you want? What do you desire? How do you want to serve? It's all about serving in order to receive what you need. So that's my deep thoughts right now. I will be making more content about all the things that I love, about all the deep wisdom that I have accumulated in my entire life. My son is in the ninth house. This is the house of Sagittarius and of Jupiter. So I am here to spread education, philosophy, religious thought, spirituality with the world. My son is Taurus. I'm here to shine, speaking my truth in a creative, expressive way, speaking only what I know, only at the right time. I am here to embody the abundance, the sensuality of being in a human form. It's all about the body, it's all about the voice, it's all about embodiment, it's all about pleasure. That's another topic I will deeply be diving into in 2024, 20, 2025 with this Jupiter and Gemini pleasure, okay? So, send me a private message if you want more info about working with me. There will be more soon. Wishing you a beautiful year Jupiter in Gemini. Let's enjoy this wild ride. Let's enjoy all these quick, fast things that come into our experience. Let's enjoy more. Gemini knows how to enjoy. Sending you so much love from Medida Island. Beiju.